Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscription button on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the uh, static analysis of a uh, table uh, using this ANSYS software. Uh, I will uh, open the static structural uh, by double clicking or else by clicking and dragging over to this plane um, of the project schematic area. Um, I have clicked on this uh, static structure. The static structure has been opened. I am going to give um, material as plastic, uh, plastic uh, table uh, that, uh, that we use in our homes and hotels. Uh, I am going to use material as plastic. For that, you need to go engineering sources and you need to select uh, general materials so you can find the plastics. Okay, uh, general materials or general. Uh, uh, normally materials you can uh, find uh, uh, plastics. I am selecting um, this uh, polyethylene uh, polyethylene uh, as a material for my um, table. I am selecting this polyethylene. Others you may use hyperelastic. You can use this hyperelastic material. In that hyperelastic material, you can um, just a moment. I will find the general materials, that general materials also there is no uh, plastic is available I think so. I have selected general materials that is enough. Uh, this is uh, I am going to use this material as polyethylene. Uh, polyethylene for that uh, I have added polyethylene I'm, I'm, and I will also use a structural steel for that uh, table uh, we are going to use. Uh, in my previous video I have uh, explained you how to draw a uh, table and that uh, and the table I am going to import it now. Uh, this is the file which I has drawn earlier in my previous video. You can watch it. Um, I am going to use ANSYS uh, Workbench Mechanical to give load conditions and boundary conditions and I am going to make a run of the analysis and I am going to make uh, these uh, give the results I am going to view the results after post processing. Um, the ANSYS workbench mechanical is getting open. We will give you the pre processing conditions and we will apply the boundary conditions and we will simulate the load. I can see that uh, this ANSYS workbench has been opening and uh, you can see the file is getting attached with this ANSYS workbench mechanical. Uh, the table has been uh, generated by the importing option which is available in the ANS uh, software and I am going to um, this is the table view right I am going to give load on uh, Z, Z direction and I am going to fix all these points all the legs available uh, this is the table I am going to give material selection uh, uh, this is in default the table uh, having structural steel I am going to give polyethylene property for this uh, table. I am going to generate mesh. Mesh uh, by element, elemental size sizing I am going to give as a maximum. Um, this is the resolution I have selected 5 as a resolution. I am going to give uh, generate the mesh. I am going to generate the mesh. The mesh is being generated uh, for the uh, table which I have designed. Uh, you can see the mesh has been generated. Uh, this is the mesh has been generated. I am going to give the boundary conditions. Um, the condition is fixer support and uh, and load. I am going to give right. Uh, this is the load. Where uh, where is the load? Uh, force force. I can say as a load. Uh, this is the force I am going to give. First of all, I will uh, uh, give the boundary condition for fixed points. Uh, this is the Fixed point I'm, uh, which I am selecting at the basement of the leg. I am going to fix. Uh, we have six uh, legs of the table, uh, so I have fixed this, uh, those legs. Um, and I am going to give load. The load will be common on the uh, upper surface of the table. Uh, this is the sur surface I am selected. Uh, I have already told you is in Z direction only that the load is going to apply. Uh, apply. I am going to uh, change it to the components and I am giving load for 
thousand. Uh, for example, you can say, um, I'll go to the calculator. Five hundred kg of load is being applied. That is in nine point eight one. That is around uh, four thousand nine hundred. I am going to give five thousand newton load to the table. Okay, you can see it is in. Uh, <coughs> I have given in uh, um, x direction in wrongly, so I am giving in z direction. Okay, you can see when I give it is in upper direction, so I need to give. Um, minus sign. Okay, so that the load will be applying on the downward. I am going to check the deformation and uh, one versus uh, stress strain. Okay, one versus strain. I am going to select the one versus stress. Uh, I will solve this uh, problem so that we can see the result. This is the uh, processing, post processing, and uh, pre processing. We will see the. Oh, sorry, post processing. You will see the result. This is a pre processing. Um, you will see the results. So it is getting uh, analyzing. Uh, the results will be obtained uh, shortly. You will see what is the result we are getting for the, the polyethylene material. And also, we will change the material to stack structural steel. We will also see the result for structural steel material. Um, the result have been generated. Uh, this is the 6.82 multiplication factor. This is the result. Okay, uh, so uh, we will see the original result. The deformation you can see 0.008. That is uh, um, just a moment. Uh, 0 .00, 0 0.008. 0 0.008 into 1000. We'll give you this just 8 mm deformation. Uh, that is negligible totally. Okay, you will see the original scale. Uh, this is the original scale. Um, you can see the deformation is just about uh, 8 mm. 8 mm deformation is negligible. So, we can consider this polyethylene material is uh, safer for a 500 Newton load. Okay, uh, for 500 Newton load, this polyethylene material is safer. Okay, um, uh, the load can be bearable uh, for this polyethylene material and uh, we have this uh, change in uh, length by original length that is strain uh, we have one versus strain and one minus stress this is a maximum 6.99 uh, pascal stress is acting i will just uh, change the material uh, to static uh, structural analysis or a uh, structural steel i will change it and I will do the machine again. I will do the machine and I will run the processors uh, for the same condition. The material is just changed. We will see the uh, results uh, for the structural steel. What is the uh, deformation acting for a 500 Newton load applied load? Um, you can see there is no deformation. Um, you can see the deformation is uh, nearly uh, negligible one. Uh, you can see the stresses also being reduced, strain also being reduced. Um, in multiplication factor also you can see um, not that much deformation is happening. Um, this is a true scale, okay. Uh, this is a true scale. Uh, so the, there is no deformation for when we use uh, structural steel material. Uh, this polyethylene also um, acceptable one. Uh, there is not a 8 mm deformation. The 8 mm deformation is negligible one. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. If you have any queries, comment uh, on the comment box. I will reply you or contact me in person. Um, I will reply you in the comment box. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.